got a big bag, let me change that Show me with your friends at, we can get that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game I'll show you where the red at, where the blue at Show me where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to break down something to y'all. It confuses you guys all the time, but it's really not that complicated. And that's what women mean when they say they want a gangster and a gentleman. Okay? When they say they want the bad boy, but they want a good guy traits, and it confuses you guys. It's like, how you want Tupac with a degree? Well, it's not that confusing. What they're basically saying to you guys is they want balance. But women don't know how to say that the right way because a lot of them aren't balanced. So instead of saying they want balance, they say they want a thug who's a gentleman. But it makes sense because you should strive to be balanced anyway. Think about it. What do men say all the time, right? We always say you want a freak in the sheets, right? But a lady in the streets. That's literally what girls are saying when they say they want a bad boy and a nice guy or they want a gangster and a gentleman. They're saying when they go out with you, okay, they want you to be able to dress in something that's not J sometimes. Sometimes get your suit and tie game going, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes get you the nice button up going. You know what I'm saying? They want you to be able to put a car in your name, son. <laughs> like they want you to be able to do that they want you to have your own place have your life together but when you get them back to the room they want you to slut them out they want you to slut them out okay let me tell y'all the truth the only reason girls even deal with bad boys okay and you'll hear girls say this a lot if you really listen y'all don't listen i keep telling y'all all the time y'all need to start opening your ears and closing your mouths when it comes to women you'll hear them often say because the d's good it's the d the bad boys lay the best pipe and it's not really the pipe that's what y'all don't get because everything's mental with women the reason they say the bad boys lay the best d is because the bad boys are the ones bang them like they're sluts the bad boys want to put their face in the field like remember when meg said i want it like this the bad boys are the ones who do that. The bad boys are the ones who, if he want her and her girl, he he gonna say that. Yo, I want your friend too. She gonna be like, what? And then next thing you know, he having a threesome with his friends. Start listening to women. Most of the time when they have threesome, they'll tell you it's with a girl they don't know. It's a lie. It's usually with one of their friends because the bad boy was masculine enough to tell her and her friend to their face, I want both of you. And that mask only made them both of their pee sleeves get wet and start leaking. They V-Box was dropping juice all over the place and he got it done. I know this for a fact. That's how it works. You can't buy into the whole game. All threesomes is usually with someone we don't know. That's a lie. It's usually with their friend. And all it took was a dude who wasn't afraid to say to both of them at the same time, yo, what's good with y'all? <laughs> That's all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why they like the bad boys. The bad boy is the one who, you know what I'm saying? I don't got to take you to a hotel or a nice or some dudes. I had dudes ask me questions like, where I'm supposed to sleep with her at? I don't know where to sleep. But bang her in the car. <laughs> See, the bad boy will do that. Get your ass in the back seat. Bend over. Bang her in the car. <laughs> bang her in the parking lot. Bang her on the porch. Bang her on the rooftop. They'll do all that. You good guys. Y'all like, oh, we got to get a bed. And I got to light the candles. Set the mood tonight. That's why they say the bad dudes got the best D. Because it's sporadic. Okay? It's they don't know when it's coming or where it's coming from and it's aggressive. Okay, and it's masculine The only reason bad boys win is because they're like the last basket of masculinity Y'all think being a good guy means give up all your masculinity and do everything all the time for her validation of what she likes and all that That's not what masculinity is Okay, that's why I tell you guys all the time. You should strive to be the gangster and the gentleman because it's balanced the, What do I tell you guys all the time? It ain't tricking if you got it. Okay, so this is the gangster and the gentleman thing you take them out you let them get dressed up. Like, I'll tell chicks sometimes, straight up, yo, wear some heels and a dress. We'll go out, you know what I'm saying? Hit the bar, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Or maybe I feel like being at this, so we might go bowling, dart throwing, whatever the case may be. But the point is, we're going to go out, we're going to have a good time. I'm going to let you feel like you're special because you got to get showed off, you got to get dressed up, you got to get some drinks, throw some axes, or go to the VIP and dance around a little bit. The point is, you got an experience. Now that the experience is over, we're going to go back to the crib. I'm going to take you back to the crib because that's the masculine thing to drive. Don't be getting in her shit. And once I take you back to the crib, it's going to be like, hey, what's good? Can I come in? And then as soon as she says yes and you go in, all that nice guy shit, off. Now it's face in the pillow, I'm going crazy. Now it's who's your friend over there, I want her too. And that's what they're trying to tell y'all. They want both. So what happens is 
they know most good guys can't even handle that they want someone who's gonna bang them in their frame, or they want someone who's gonna handcuff them, or they want someone who's gonna shove something up their rear end. Okay, they know this already, so that's why they go to the bad boy because the bad boy is giving them anal sex. The bad boy is running the train on them. Y'all, y'all get what I'm saying? So that's all it's really about. What they really want is that balance. They want someone who's gonna treat them a certain like a lady in public, and then bang them like a slut behind closed doors. Like I said, it's no different than what we say all the time when we say we want a lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets. That's what women say when they say they want Tupac with a degree. That's the real reason they say the bad boys got the best D. Because like I said, the bad boys are masculine enough to get those trains going, to get those threesomes going. You're never going to, like, guys, if you think you're going to just go up to a girl and say, hey, let's have a threesome, it's never going to work. You're going to have to, the only thing that's going to make that happen is unadulterated masculinity. Okay, not being afraid, being in abundance and saying if that makes you mad and I want to bang your friend, whatever, you can move your ass on. Literally, it's almost always their friends that they do that with. So if you don't have the balls to say, I want you and her, it's never going to happen for you. <laughs> it's never going to happen for you. So that's the real reason that they say that. What they're trying to say is that they want balance. They want a man who knows how to treat a woman the right way, take her out wine and dine and make her feel special, and then slut her out in the bedroom. Because that's what they want. It's not that complicated. Like I said, we say the same thing all the time. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.